Are you ready for fall? Are you one of those people that loves everything pumpkin spice? We're gonna be talking today about a classic fall dish that you can make any time of the year. But if you're especially having some of those fall vibes here in September, we can take fall ingredients like these sad pears here and we're gonna turn it into a galette. If I'm being honest here, a galette is almost like a cheat. It's one of those things that looks super beautiful. It looks like it took a lot of time, but it did not. And especially if you go to our friend's house and bring a galette, they're gonna think that you slaved over the stove. You did not slave over the stove all day, my friend. And I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade galette in this video. Hey foodie friends, I'm Victoria. If we haven't met, I am the cruise director here at Fortuna Cucina. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make some delicious food from scratch made from real natural ingredients. This isn't gonna cost you a bunch of money or take up a bunch of time, but it is gonna be real food and it is gonna be really delicious. Now a galette is essentially a flat pie. I wanted to share with you this galette that I have in my freezer. I made this from nectarines. And the wonderful thing about a galette, we're just gonna use a pie crust here and we're gonna arrange our fruit really pretty, sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar, and we're gonna take care of the crust here. I'm gonna give you my secret for a really amazing crust, and we're done, and that's it. And so galette doesn't take a lot of time, and you can do like I'm doing now. Like if you have a lot of one particular type of fruit that's really ready right now, you can freeze a galette. I just froze this in uh, on a cookie sheet in my freezer and it's wrapped in parchment and then I'm putting it in a Ziploc bag. When I'm ready to have this bad boy, I'm just going to let it thaw for a little bit and then throw it in the oven. So easy peasy. Now I have probably five pears like this that I'm gonna need to do something with. And even though I filmed the cooking part of this ahead of time, I'm gonna go ahead and make another pie crust and another, I think, two galettes today. Because I know that I'm going to be attending a few things this fall and also having a few um, get togethers where people are coming over to my house and throwing one of those in the oven is super simple. So let me tell you about a galette. There's basically two parts to it. Um, it. There's a crust part and the filling. Now for the crust part, I make my own with einkorn flour. You may have heard of einkorn, maybe not. Einkorn is an ancient grain that has not been adulterated or monkeyed with in any way by humankind. You know, most of our wheat is GMO in some way, shape, or fashion, but not einkorn. And it's actually a low gluten flour. So if you have issues with gluten, give it a shot. Einkorn is organic and einkorn is low gluten. So try it. So I'm gonna be sharing with my cooking club members that the pie crust recipe I use, it makes two pie crusts. So if you want all of my recipes from this video and the other recipes that I'm sharing this month, make sure you check out the cooking club. We get four recipes every month. And I also share a bonus video this month that I'm sharing all about tomatoes because it's really the end of tomato season and I am appreciating any of the heirloom tomatoes that I can get my hands on this year and I share with you how to pick out an amazing tomato for caprese salad. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the pie crust. Now, this is the easy peasiest way. We are going to use our food processor to make the crust. If you've never made a pie crust before, let me tell you it's super easy, but if you're scared and this is turning you off, you can go get a store-bought pie crust if you want. I like to know where my ingredients come from and it just takes me a minute to make two pie crusts. So for me, it's not a big deal. But for you, it may be another trip to the store or whatever, do whatever is easiest for you. But we're gonna be using our food processor and what we end up doing is putting our flour and our salt into the food processor and then we slowly pulse in our cubed butter. This is important, slowly pulse it in. And then we're also gonna add ice water at the same time. This will help it form a ball. So you don't wanna to add too much water. You just want it to be barely mixed and then you'll start to see as you continue to hit 
as you continue to hit the pulse button, you will see it form a nice doughy consistency. From there, we're gonna have this chill for at least an hour and we can go ahead and make our galette from there. I'm gonna be using my food processor today to make the pie filling. This is really the most extensive part of the galette. From there, we're gonna roll out our pie crust. Now, do yourself a favor and start out with a flat disc that is a circular shape because we want our galette to be a circle or oval or something like that, and that we want it to look uniform and pretty, okay? So start out with something that is a circular shape, and this does not have to be perfect. I mean, call it a rustic galette, that's fine, but we're gonna start out with a circle. So I'm starting to roll out my dough. When you see me do this, it's so you can feel the thickness. So this is probably about, about as thick as we want it. I'm just going to, I kind of turn out from the middle, and this is something my mom used to do. I have it on this parchment because it's easier to fold up the sides when you have the parchment paper, but just make sure that like your flour Right, so right here is the edge of my counter. The flower is gonna come off if I reach the edge, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So this side is thinner, so we're gonna roll this out just a little bit. But you wanna try to roll it out into a circle. And, well, that looks a little weird. We're not gonna worry about if it's not a perfect circle or if it looks a little weird because you're gonna see we're folding it up. Okay, and now that I'm at the edge of the paper, like I really need to be done. This is softened butter. As you can see, it's like really soft because it's been out and it's hot here today. We're gonna leave this to the side, but you're gonna need this. We're gonna start with, so this is just some organic cinnamon I got from Costco. It's really a great price considering it's organic. And um, I was just having a conversation with someone the other day about like, sometimes organic is hard to find. And this is why I say don't worry about like how your pears look. We have a little bit of nutmeg. We're just gonna sprinkle just the tiniest little bit on top, okay? And then I have some turbinado sugar. I got this again from Costco. And we're just gonna put a little bit on top. Now keep in mind, this has just been the fruit and the spice. You really don't need sugar for this. But I think the turbinado sugar adds a little crunch. Now we're gonna fold this up. How would we use a parchment to help us fold this up? I'm gonna show you. So especially if you're not confident, you use the parchment as a guide, okay? I'm gonna take this a little bit off. Do you guys how pretty does this look? This looks gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take that butter and I'm just gonna brush the top of this. Wouldn't this be a lovely thing to bring for like a potluck or like a Friendsgiving thing? Imagine how fancy you are. Like, oh, let me just whip out a pair of pants. Right? You're so fancy. Okay, so see how this is a little delicate right here? We're just gonna leave this. And the nice part is since 
since we're moving the whole parchment, you don't have to worry about like getting it to a cookie sheet. I'll show you in a second. We have our turbinado sugar again. We're just gonna sprinkle some of that. Not like a really super even sprinkler. Okay, and then you can add a little bit more on the top if you want. I like it on the on the crust. I think it's delicious. All right. Now we're gonna put this in on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Okay, friends, we're gonna be cutting our galette. Look how gorgeous this looks. I wanna point out that, look, it cracked. It cracked all the way across. This is not a tragedy, okay? This is not a big deal. And what I'm gonna do is, yes, that is long enough for my knife. I am just gonna cut it in half like that. I hope I didn't, sometimes, you know, I have a hard time like doing two things at once. So I hope you could see that okay on the camera. So then we're just going to cut our slices from here. And just pushing back into place any of the fruit that may have, like that little piece was gonna pop up, just pushing them back into place. So that's our galette. It's really easy. It seems like it's super fancy. It seems like it's really hard. I wanna encourage you that if you're like me and you have fruit that starts to go bad, and maybe you have a couple minutes where you can put this together and you can assemble it, that would be an awesome thing to put in your freezer so that you could whip it out the next time you're going to dinner at a friend's house. And won't you look so fancy? If you like recipes like this, consider joining the cooking club. I post four recipes a month and we have one live cooking class each month where we make delicious food together. All online, all at the same time on Zoom. This month, our recipe is tomato soup and gourmet grilled cheese. And this sounds like such a simplistic thing, but let me tell you, don't you even think about opening that can of tomato soup. No, sir. We're gonna make our own from scratch, made with just whole foods, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. It's gonna be super simple. Everything for this class is gonna come together within one hour. We're gonna be eating. Doesn't that sound great? All right, friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more recipes like this, consider joining the cooking club. And I will see you in my next video. We're gonna continue the fall recipes and I have some delicious stuff coming up. I'm really excited to share it with you. All right, friends, take care.